June 13th, 2022. Hope everybody out there is having a good day today. Let me start off by saying if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Talk to you today about the red flag gun laws that, you know, they're fixing them. Looks like they're going to get it passed. You know, if you're for that, you need to understand something. That is a direct violation of your rights. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's to the point now where when they, if they pass this, what this means is anybody can go and tell the police, hey, this guy over here scares me, you know, and I know he has firearms, and guess what? They're going to come in and take your stuff. I mean, it's that simple. It's crazy how, I've said it before in a bunch of videos, any law that's wrote against the Second Amendment is infringing on your Second Amendment rights. This red flag law takes it above and beyond that because you're being found guilty without due process and then you have to prove your innocence to get your stuff back. So that's just not right. It's not right at all. I mean, it, they might as well just set up, somebody said set up an office outside of, you know, family court because you're going to have people just turning people in just to get them in trouble. I mean, it's that simple. It's crazy the way our world is working right now. A red flag gun law does no good except cause more problems. You're going to have a lot of people say, well, my state's not going to enforce it. Do you remember back, I made a video a while back, that the, you know, the ATF can now take local law enforcement and turn them into federal agencies. Or agents, my bad. And you realize that's to enforce the red flag gun laws they can legally do it if your state's saying we're not going to do it where the atf can come in and federalize an officer and make him an atf agent and then he comes and gets your guns it's, it's this is all it's a gun grab y'all you have to prove your innocence to get them back number one if you haven't done anything why are they taking them in the first place is my question because your neighbor down the road you know saw you with a firearm and it scared them, you know, like pinball said, you know, you're in Walmart and you're open carrying. In my state, you can open carry. Well, what if somebody in the store, you know, says, hey, that scares me. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. And they call the police. Well, the police come and they could possibly say, you got to hand me over your gun, you know, red flag law. And then you got to go through all these steps to get it back. And there's no time frame on when you can get to court to get your stuff back there's no time frame on how long they can hold your stuff or any of that have we come that far as a society that you know we have to sit around and worry that hey my neighbor over you know if i upset them or if they see me outside doing you know shooting my firearms and they call the police now i'm guilty of something you know it's just a gun grab is all it is that's all the red flag law is it's not going to prevent nothing. It's not going to do anything except for cause more problems. Just like just about any law they pass, it's going to cost more money. You, you know, to get your stuff back, you're going to have to pay to get your stuff back. It's that simple. It's like most court issues. You know, money, 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 money. That's what it's about. That's what keeps the, con you know, keeps the, the court system going. It's money, money, money. Around here, we have a lot of people that's in, you know, drug court and stuff for minute things, you know. Now, there's, I don't know if my county does it, but I know the county next to us over there. No matter what your charge is, if, it, you know, and you got probation, you're automatically on a, a drug court where you have to pay money every week and go down there, you know, give urine samples, no matter what your charge is. It's ridiculous. It's a money thing. How do they think a red flag law is going to help? It's going to cause more problems. You're going to have states that say they're not going to enforce it. But like I said, they've already passed the thing where the ATF can come into any state and federalize an officer. And then he enforces the red flag gun law. There's, they work their way around everything. It doesn't matter what your state says, like, we're not going to enforce that. Trust me. They'll send a, fed, a, a ATF agent down there and federalize somebody in every jurisdiction to enforce it. It's that simple. It's got to the point, like in Alabama, you can open carry, you know, constitutional carry. But if you go into Walmart, I noticed the other day on the door, they say we ask our customers to refrain from open carrying. They don't ask you not to do it. They just ask you to, you know, please don't do it. 
They're not telling you can't is what I'm trying to say. What does it matter if someone is open carrying or concealed carrying? I've never understood that. If everybody open carried, I feel they would be less crime in America. Yeah, now you might have a little bit of time frame where there's a, probably a pretty good bit of things going on, but eventually it would level out and you would have less crime in America. You've got all these gun-free zones, you know. Where does most of these things happen? They happen at gun-free zones. It's ridiculous. They think this stuff works. But, like I said, any law that goes against the Second Amendment, you go back to the 1930s and all that, go back through my videos, you'll see the videos I'm talking about. That They always pass gun laws as a knee-jerk reaction to a tragic event or things going on at that time. In the 30s, it was the gangsters were out here with fully automatic weapons. Well, we need to ban gangst you know, ban the American public from owning a full, fully automatic weapon. Okay, why was they able to pass that? Because you had these gangsters out here running around shooting up, robbing, you know, all this stuff. It was a knee-jerk reaction to them. Then they said, well, you can't be a felon and possess a firearm. Okay, and then you go into the 60s, and then you go into the 90s. They just keep adding these gun laws. What they're doing is once you give them an inch, and they always sell it to you on your public safety, once you give them an inch, they're going to take the whole thing and then some. This red flag law, and a lot of people, you know, Trump, you know, great, great president. He was a great president. He was going along with the red flag law. You got to remember, this isn't a Democrat thing. This was Trump and them that wanted the red flag laws. They wanted to violate your rights. It violates your search and seizure rights and all that. And people don't realize that. Where, where is the stopping point? It's going to get to the point where, you know, they can just come in your house for no reason at all. You know, you got too much food in your house. We're going to come take your food from you. That's where we're heading if we keep bending over and giving them everything like this. People need to start, you know, saying, hey, instead of sitting here complaining, we might need to, you know, do something, you know. We need to get a hold of our congressmen and this and that. All these congressmen are in it together. You, you vote them out, the next one coming in will do the same thing. They're all in the boat together. We, our society is collapsing. It is not nowhere near it was when I was growing up. Even when my kids were growing up, it's nowhere near. Now they're in their 20s. It's it's changed in 20 years, and it's changed a lot in the last three years. Where are we going to be five years from now, ten years from now? That's the problem. These red flag laws, it's just nothing but a gun grab. You're going to have these, these people that protest everything. They're going to just start turning people in left and right that ain't even doing nothing because they don't like the fact that they have a firearm. So what do they do? Well, he scares me, you know, or, or or he raised his voice at me, you know. They're always going to try to come get them is what I'm saying. If you support a red flag gun law and you claim you're a Second Amendment supporter, you are not. If you claim you support the Second Amendment and you support any gun laws, technically you're not a Second Amendment supporter. They brainwashed us into it. And the way you will always know is because you'll hear people say, a law-abiding citizen, whenever they talk about the Second Amendment. You'll always hear that. You'll always. How can you support the Second Amendment and be for any gun law? Because once you give them an inch, they're going to take the whole thing. It's that simple. It's that clear. If you can't see it, you need to recognize what's going on. It's looking like they're going to get this passed, too. They're going to get this red flag law passed, and watch what happens. Number one, it'll probably go to the court, Supreme Court, and people think, well, the Supreme Court will overturn it. No, they won't. They'll, they'll go along with it because it's a knee-jerk reaction. It's that plain and simple. You have a tragedy. We need to get something passed through. Let's throw this out there, and they'll get it. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, or dislike the video. Comment below. I would like to know your thoughts on this on this red flag law, the Second Amendment, and everything. I'd like to know how you feel about it. If you're out in public, stay safe. Keep your head on the swivel and be aware of your surroundings. Guys, we are not safe anywhere in America. And if you're still watching, please hit that subscribe button and leave a comment on this because I'd like to hear from y'all. Stay safe out there and get prepped up.